So we now have a problem with the V12 BMW 760LI. Before we get into this video, make sure you give it a like. It really does help me out and it shows your appreciation. Now then, we've done some pretty extensive work on this. So we swapped out the spark plugs, ignition coils, crankcase ventilation breathers and also the associated hoses as well. And when we started it up after for the first time, we noticed we had a very loud and high pitched squealing noise. So I guess I'll start it up just so you can hear exactly what that sounds like. So then as you heard, engine fired up absolutely fine. It sounds sweet. We do have a loud and high-pitched uh, noise coming from, it sounds like it's coming from this area in particular. And I'm thinking it's either some kind of vacuum leak, which is what it sounds like, or it could be a possibility that the new crankcase breather valves, obviously one on each side, either one or maybe both of them, are bad they are an aftermarket one they were the only aftermarket one that i could find they are vaco which do make good quality parts i've used vaco um, even for breather valves in the past but it could be uh, you know it could be a possibility that these are bad or they are no good uh, for this engine but yeah i think first thing is first i think we'll rule out any vacuum leaks because we have had the intake plenum off we've had the uh, breather uh, pipes they've been replaced um, yeah I think to rule out a vacuum leak I'm going to do a smoke test I've never done one before but I do have uh, a smoke uh, tester kit now so yeah let's get that hooked up and, uh, and then yeah hopefully we'll be able to see if we have any vacuum leaks okay then so this is the smoke leak detector that I have I don't think it's anything fancy Pretty sure you just fill it up with some oil. It then he heats the oil up and then creates smoke. So what I've done is I've removed uh, the top of one of the air boxes. You then have this bung here, which I guess is to uh, stop any air from getting past. I'm hoping that will seal in there and not let any air pass. I'm going to tighten down this Jubilee clamp to ins to uh, secure it. I'll get this hooked up and then feed some uh, smoke through there and hopefully we should be able to see if we have any leaks. Okay then so pretty sure I have everything set up. I actually decided to remove the other side uh, air box as well because obviously we're going to have uh, smoke going through the system. Probably not a good idea to have that going through the MAF sensor as well. There's a chance you may damage it so yeah I thought I'd get that out of the way. I've just put a glove and the Jubilee clamp on there just to make it nice and airtight. And now I'm gonna uh, top it up with some oil. So you're supposed to use uh, either baby oil or paraffin. I have some baby oil here. So it's to add uh, around 30 milliliters, which I'll do now. Screw this plug back in. Now connect it up. Obviously, the red goes to the positive, and the black goes to the ground. We have power now. So yeah, I've just got to turn on the power switch and the detector starts to work apparently. I haven't connected it up yet, I'm going to wait until we have smoke coming out of here. In about three minutes the pipe will be filled with smoke. Ah, we already have smoke coming out. Can you see that? I'm going to connect this up. That was in three minutes. Actually gonna hang this up out of the way. So yeah, the smoke tester is running and 
I could not see any smoke whatsoever. The tiniest amount coming by here, but that's obviously because this isn't sealed 100%. That's not an issue though. But apart from that, I really can't see any. Obviously we have smoke through the entire system because the club is filled. That's sealing nicely. I was, at, I was kind of expecting to see some smoke rising from you know either side of the intake plenum, but nothing. And then was sealed correctly. I don't know how long you're supposed to let this run for. I think once the light goes off, I think that's when it's out of smoke essentially. Let's see if we still have yeah we still have plenty of smoke. But yeah, nothing. We don't appear to have any vacuum leaks. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we have a faulty crankcase breather valve. Maybe one or two. Okay, so I've left it running for a good few minutes now. You're not supposed to leave this running for like a long period of time uh, anyway, because I think it'll just burn out. But we do now have a vacuum leak from the glove, which you know, like I said, it's not a problem. You can see it's clearly coming from the throttle body there. But yeah, we, we can't see any sort of vacuum leak from the breather valves, from the uh, crankcase ventilation hoses, or from any of the intake gaskets. So yeah, I think I'm going to switch this off and uh, call that job done for that. I'm just going to get both of the CC breather valves swapped out for the original BMW ones and then start it up and see if we notice any difference. Okay then, so old original breather valves now in place. Let's fire it up and see if we notice any difference. I think that was it, you know. We don't have that high pitching squeal now. Let's get the air boxes back on and, uh, and then just confirm that the noise is fully gone. Okay, so as you can see, air boxes are now back in position. Math sensors are plugged back in. Let's start it up for the final time and just confirm that we have found our issue. No more high pit squealing now. Crisis over. I'm gonna call BMW now and order a set of the genuine uh, breather valves. Uh, I don't really know why I didn't do that in the first place. Um, I guess I just thought, you know, it's just a diaphragm and a spring. Uh, I've ordered Vaco parts in the past, never had an issue. They are usually, you know, up the top when it comes to aftermarket parts. Um, but in this case, on this, particular, on this particular engine, for whatever reason, they don't work. Or maybe I could have just had a bad uh, batch of valves. I don't know, but yeah, I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm not gonna try and see what the issue was with them. I'm just gonna order the genuine BMW ones and I'll get them installed, uh, you know, once I pick them up. But yeah, um, the engine actually sounds better now, I think. I don't know how that's possible, um, but I also took it for a test drive as well. And 
I don't know if it's just placebo, but it seems like a lot more responsive. Obviously, we've swapped out the spark plugs, ignition coils, which are a few years old. And I think they last swapped out about five years ago or so. Um, and then the intake gaskets and then the breather valves, which have obviously put the old ones in for the time being. Um, but we've swapped out the uh, breather hoses as well. So, yeah, we've done a lot to this engine. Oh, we've also done in a separate video to all that work, we've done the um, secondary air pump delete as well. So whether or not that's made any difference to making the car feel a lot more responsive, I don't know. But yeah, it feels a lot more better to drive now and um, everything is good. So yeah, like I said, I've, I'm going to order them valves and get them swapped out. There's no need to you know, there's no need to make another video on it. Um, you guys have already uh, seen me remove them once or twice now. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, hopefully you all have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.